Hello guys, welcome back to Flippin' Windows. This is the channel for all your Windows 10 technology tutorials and everything else regarding Windows. Now today I'll be showing you guys an alternative way to get a start menu instead of having the start menu that you would have with Windows 10. Now if you are familiar with Windows 10, you can see that there are still tiles and also just a certain UI that you're not entirely familiar with. But if you are familiar with the Windows 7 start menu and that's something that you do want and you don't want those tiles, no matter what the excuse is of how intuitive they are, then I'm going to show you guys how to get a start menu that'll be fitting your needs just as you had with Windows 7. Now, as you guys can see here, it does look like the Windows 7 start menu because it does and acts like the Windows 7 start menu. You have your directories and all your other little shortcut links right here. You have all your recent applications that you have used and also the pin applications as well. As you guys can see, the Windows 7 styled start menu, but also with a bunch of Windows 10 enhancements. Now, unlike other start menus, you can pin desktop applications and also modern apps to the start menu as well. And also, Start 10 does provide jump list support, as you can see. And this right here pretty much provides unified search for app settings and files. So anything that you search for Windows 7 and how you search for Windows 7, it does the same thing right here. Now, if you guys want to configure the customization on the Start Orb, all you have to do is just go to Configure Start 10, click on Custom Image, and pick an image. Now what I'll do is I'll just pick any other start orb. I'll just say for example this right here. Press open and from there you have your custom skinnable start button. Now going into the configuration of start 10, you either have the style of the Windows 7 style start menu or the Windows 10 style menu as well. Now if you guys are familiar with this Windows 10 style, I pretty much made sense of it right here. But since we have a taste for the Windows 7 style, we'll just stick with that here. You also have plenty of other options for the type of theme that you have. Um, the one I currently have was inspired by Windows 10. Under configuration, you can use your large icons or not and a bunch of other options that you have. You can add shortcuts as you please and you can also custom make those shortcuts as well. I added Dropbox, this PC and also Recycle Bin. Now if you're not used to shutting down the computer but rather sleeping it, you can select the power button to actually do whatever you want. Press sleep for example, go over here and the computer will sleep. But also you have the option to shut down, restart, lock, sign out or switch user. Going to control panel, it pretty much has the option to where if you do press the start button, which is right here, it'll show the start menu. Going down to the Windows key that you have on your keyboard, if I were to just press that, I have it set up to where I have the Windows 10 menu. Pressing that now, the Windows 10 menu still comes up. So I have the best of both worlds with the Windows 7 Classic Start menu and also the Windows 10 Start menu. There's fairly a large amount of other options you can pick and just customize, but going over to Desktop, you have the option to either show the Start menu on the main taskbar, and show a start button on the secondary taskbars if you have multiple monitors. The very unified search option for wherever you want to search files outside the standard libraries is very useful and any other advanced settings that you may see here. Now Start 10 is by Stardock and Stardock does a very diligent job of updating their products each and every time by improving the start menu and removing bugs and increasing the stabilization and also performance of the start menu. So the option is yours. You either can stick with the Windows 7 styled start menu or you can stick with the Windows 10 style start menu. Either way, either choice is a good choice. It's just a matter of preference on your side. But if you guys are going to choose a third party start menu, stick with Start 10. Any other ones, I couldn't really see that the support is as good as Stardock's product. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do choose to use a classic start menu like Windows 7, good for you. If not, good for you as well. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a thumbs up for this video because there are more Windows 10 videos and also Windows tutorial videos coming up pretty soon. I hope you guys like this. And until next time, guys, see you later. Bye.